Welcome back. <laughs> um, same day as the other video, just later on that night. And we are headed to a place called The Melting Pot to go get some dinner. And it's my birthday dinner. Oh yeah, the music was really loud. Sorry about that. You excited? Oh yeah, I love food. <laughs> You've been there before. Tell them the story of why you went there. <laughs> Tell them. Let's hear this, babe. My why did you go to the melting pot? My ex-girlfriend's family took me there. <laughs> I always so. joke with Bo about his like ex-girlfriend stories. Which the funny thing is this restaurant is it's on like the more expensive side and so it's kind of funny that like your ex-girlfriend's family like paid for you to go to this expensive restaurant with them. That meant they really liked you. And you didn't even marry her. You nope. married me. I sure did. <laughs> Salt Lake. I know it's busy. Everyone hates the busy in the city, but I love Salt Lake. I think it's really fun down here. Um, we're just trying to make sure we can park here. Um, but yeah, this is like Salt Lake for ya. Just a bunch of buildings and restaurants. And Remember that part in the office where Michael tries to parallel park and it's actually a really wide spot and he can totally make it but then he goes, oop, looks like we're not gonna make it and then he parks in that really tight spot. Yeah, that shows one of my favorites. Um, that sign says that Saturday is like unlimited. Oh, uh, it's free parking. Yeah. So what do you wanna do for 30 minutes? Just walk around. Okay. Hello emotions, hello again. Is every ocean call us rain? I know my circles, I know my name. Another sequel is on the way. She can get the lobster tail. And then uh, for the fondue cooking style, we're thinking the, how do you say it, the, the bourguignon? Bor so it's gonna be like an oil. I'll bring out some tempura batter, some panko crust. You guys will like kind of be deep frying at the table. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you suggest? Um, that's that's been, that's been uh, pretty popular. I mean, people usually stick with the broths, but I mean, if you guys want to try that, and that's the nice thing about these two, the cooking styles, I can swap those out super easy. So, like, let's say oh. you guys try it and you're not feeling it, I can swap it out. So, oh, okay. Some people go with the broths. I mean, just because they're kind of like a safer bet and they're easier to cook in. Um, you got the uh, court bouillon, which is kind of like the fallback, as I call it. It's just like the regular vegetable broth, whereas like the cocoa bin, you got the red wine, mushrooms, and scallions. And then the mojo is a little bit of citrus as well as garlic and cilantro. Um, so, you, you know. Yours is really good too. 
just called the melting pot and it's in Salt Lake City. It's so good. We haven't even gotten our food yet, but the drinks are amazing. <laughs> Dang, these are super absorbent cloths. 10 out of 10 <laughs> on the cloths. 10 out of 10 cloths. <laughs> Alrighty, Bo. Show us how it's done. Alright. <laughs> you get your fork, you stab it's not a what fork. you want. It's I don't know. Basically what it is. a fork. <laughs> you stab what you want. And then you dip it. And then you eat it. Oh no. Oh you drop it first and then you eat it. Yep. Is it good? You don't have to do the deep fry if you don't want to. Okay. Salmon and then the chicken and then shrimp. Shrimp again. Can we eat these? You want to cook them first? Yeah. You, what are they though? They're the the pasta oh. with like cheese inside of them. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we're doing this. This is really awesome. You guys should totally come here. Again, it's just called the Melting Pot, and it's in Salt Lake City. Oh, this looks so good. Sometimes the uh, marshmallow tends to break off in there. Um, some people just like drizzle it on top with the spoon. Um, other than that, I will be right back with a little treat for me and some more water. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Chocolate? Yeah. No, I'm all right. We're so stuffed. Yeah. There's that guy for you. There's actually a QR code on here as well. If you want to How was your overall experience of fine dining? It was so yummy. I would go there again. I would too. I'd make sure I'm hungrier though. I know, I that's how I feel too. I had a quesadilla like shortly before we went, so I wasn't like the most hungry. And they give you a ton of food. That was crazy. But it was so good. 10 out of 10 would do it again. And it's also so unique. Like it's not just about the food there. It's also about like the experience of cooking your own food right there and 
Like the fondue and the chocolate is so good. Another round Girl, you know 